All right, I have another one. Again, I think I succeeded in picking that one to get a bit of a wedge. Uh, another one is by the same, my same uh, motivation. Can you get closer to the mic? Oh, sure. So, oh, yeah. it's uh, not just corporate cronyism, but also union cronyism. For example, the Davis-Bacon Act and other things that make public works more expensive and government more expensive. Isn't that also cronyism? We'll start with Grover. Uh, unionism, sure. union cronyism. I'm never in favor of insisting that everything be put into a particular silo that we're talking about. So, anyway, whether you want to mean cronyism, is it bad, the Davis-Bacon Act? Yes, it's evil. It's also racist. I mean, the Davis-Bacon Act was put in with a deliberate racist reason to keep black workers from coming up and competing with white union jobs. Uh, and so they put what the South Africans would call a prevailing wage um, that to keep new guys out who didn't have the training because they didn't want them to get the training. And it raises the cost of building a road or a bridge or anything the government builds. Some people say 25, 30 percent, but not zero. Uh, when the states have many Davis-Bacon Acts and reforming that in Ohio allowed you to build 11 schools for the price of 10. So reforming, not eliminating, the Ohio mini Davis-Bacon was 11 percent um, uh, of the cost of something. So. Yeah, I mean, that's deliberately designed, it was deliberately designed to keep certain people out of jobs. I went and talked to a legislator uh, who wanted to raise the gas tax, and I said, why don't you get rid of the Davis-Bacon Act? I'd like to help you. And he said, do you want all our roads to be built by Hispanics? So the racist Davis-Bacon Act remains racist, they just have a different target this time. Ralph, any comment on Davis-Bacon Act? Do you see any union cronyism yeah. out there? Your opinions on that? Unions are not uh, foreign to corruption. We fought corruption in the early United Mine Workers, Teamsters. In the construction industry, there often is this corrupt compact between developers with great influence in City Hall and construction unions. And they're corrupt in different ways, and they agree to be corrupt. So we should look at it in that context. Both, both the unions and the developers have cut a deal against, years ago, the jobs were hereditary, right? Yeah. I mean, y y your son took your place in a construction unit, not exactly meritorious. Yeah. Uh, however, the developers have a huge responsibility as well. They're, they're busy trying to get all kinds of windfalls from City Hall. The New York Stock Exchange persuaded New York City about 10 years ago, listen to this, the bastion of capitalism. They wanted a new headquarters in Manhattan, and they persuaded the mayor and the governor to give them a billion dollar building with tax abatements and support, direct support for facilities. The only thing that stopped this, can you imagine any greater hypocrisy than that? The only thing that stopped it was the, the recession and automation. They needed less space, the brokers. That's how far they'll go. You know, capitalism is defined by a number of principles which these big corporations violate. One, if you own something, you're supposed to control it reasonably. Shareholders have virtually no control over management of these big corporations. They're just told, you don't like how we uh, enrich ourselves at the top, Buster? Sell your shares. If, if you're too, you're supposed to have freedom to fail. That's another principle of capitalism. Freedom to fail, these big corporations, they don't go bankrupt unless they go to Washington to bail them out. They don't fail. Think of what that does to small business. If you're afraid of your savings, are you gonna put your money in a community bank that's free to fail? Or are you gonna put it in the Bank of America that's too big to fail? See how unfair it is? So a lot of times it takes two to tango, the union and the corporation. That's what we faced during the fight with the United Mine Workers, that the coal mine operators were in it just as thick and corrupt.